Hey guys, today we'll be learning about comma splices and run on sentences. The purpose of this video is to help you better understand common mistakes with comma splices and run ons, and learning this now will drastically improve the professional tone of your writing. The followings from St. Louis Community College and their explanation of comma splices and run ons are easy to understand and quick to learn. A comma splice occurs when only a comma separates two independent sentences, while a run on sentence occurs when no punctuation at all separates independent sentences. For example, take these two simple sentences. Cletus is a redneck, he married his cousin. Both of these statements pass the independent sentence test. Each one contains a subject and a verb, and each one also expresses a complete thought. When you write your ideas down, you are usually concerned with the detail and complexity of your sentences and often don't pay enough attention to punctuation, especially where one sentence ends and another begins. That's when you can get in trouble with incorrect punctuation. As you can see in these two sentences, comma splices and run-ons are similar mistakes. In both cases, punctuation, or the lack thereof it, does not indicate a complete independent sentence. Comma splices and run-ons can also occur when you use transition words. For example, the U.S. Postal Service is usually very, re very reliable. However, sometimes a letter can be lost in delivery. Again, there are two independent sentences here. Transition words, like however, therefore, nevertheless, consequently, and then, cannot be used to connect the two sentences. Corrected versions of the previous sentence could be, The U.S. Postal Service is usually very reliable, semicolon, however, sometimes a letter can be lost in delivery. Another correct version is, The U.S. Postal Service is usually very reliable, period. However, sometimes a letter can be lost in delivery. Now it's your turn. Is there a run-on or comma splice in the following sentence? If you said it's a complete, correctly punctuated sentence, you're right. Even though both parts of the sentence have a subject and verb, the, the dependent word because keeps the first idea from expressing a complete thought. It is dependent on the second part of the sentence to complete the meaning. Some common dependent words, like subordinate conjunctions, are because, after, although, if, until, since, and while. Now you know how sentences can become run-on sentences and comma splices, how do you avoid or correct them? There are four basic methods that can be used. The first method is you can use a comma and coordinating conjunction, like and, but, or, nor, for, yet, and so, to form one smooth sentence. So you'll have a sentence, comma, conjunction, and a sentence. For example, the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, comma, conjunction, and no one will ever forget it. Another method is you can separate the independent sentences with a semicolon. The semicolon may be used whether or not the second sentence starts with a transitional word or phrase. So you'll have a sentence, semicolon, sentence. The Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, semicolon, nobody will ever forget it. The third method is you can make independent sentences distinct using a period and a capital letter. So you'll have a sentence, period, and another sentence. The Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, nobody will ever forget it. And last but not least, you can restructure the two sentences as one using a dependent word to introduce the less important idea. So you'll have a dependent word, plus a subject verb, and then a sentence. Because the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, comma, nobody will ever forget it. Now you know the difference between comma splices and run-ons, your writings will take a drastic turn for the better. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and show some love to my Twitter.